Hey, what's up, guys? Um, it's been a while. Um, I already uploaded um up up an update video, an update video. Yeah, uh, it's right there in the channel. Go watch it if you want to be aware of uh, you know, where I've been uh, and where we're taking the channel. Um, from now on, I didn't want to spend time here, so if you want to watch it, go watch it. That being said, um, we're back. And we're back at it with the thing that pretty much started it all, which was Sleep Token. And I am very excited because a lot of people have told me about this song. The song seems to be one of the big ones, right? And I don't know what to expect, as always. I am sad that I got to this song before I changed my earphones, though. However, I promise that I have new earphones coming uh, in the way. Um, they're monitoring earphones, uh, way better quality. And those ones we're going to use for the live version of this song. Because I know for a fact that this song has a live version because I saw it when I was Googling it. That, all of that into account. Let's get into it. In three, two, one. This is the offering. Um, full blast, as always, and get ready for some pauses, bitches. Go. Okay. Okay, I was not expecting the techno like sound uh we've been doing like electric cowboy i have some songs too from electric cowboy but like i was not expecting this vibe i like it okay it's kind of like dark techno basically Oh, we're so back. Oh, shit. Okay. F fuck what I just said about techno, dark techno, whatever. This shit goes hard. Let me hear that again. And I love, the, like, the drums again. And, uh, again, we're, we're, we begin with a lot of pauses, so fuck you if you don't like it. Um, but the mixing in the song is everything, right? And the effect of the drum going, the drum set going from one to the other one, like, <laughs> love that. Oh, it's good. Ooh. That bass, that bass goes hard. They did something a little different there that I really liked. I don't know how to exactly pinpoint it because this one's not really that good with the bass, but the bass went different. It wasn't a do no 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 that it was doing beforehand. It did something else. I don't know exactly what. I hate these earphones, but it it it, it made me feel a certain way. Now we're back down. Okay. And you are a garden oh. entwined with all you other silence on say only one track shores you've got diamonds for see my love so take a bite of me just one God, okay, I'm gonna pause there. Sorry, I gave you a lot of seconds there. Again, like I've I've always said it. Um, my my favorite, like 
even though the mixing is amazing, even though the composition is great, the lyrics are deep as fuck and stuff. But my favorite thing about Sleep Token is and will always be the way that he delivers the speech, the way that he delivers the lyrics. This man has such a range of emotions that he like can give you within one verse solely with the way that he chooses to speak the words. Like, check this out. Just once I want to. Actually, I'm, I want to listen to the whole thing again. Find with all you other silence. Again, like, he does his thing and he elongates certain vowels to give it a very specific style. On say, Chris, sure, that you got a diamond. Mm. For teeth, my love, so take a bite of the breath. Take a bite of like you can say it any other way, but it wouldn't work. It wouldn't have that effect that sleep token has. Me just once I want to. Oh, and then you go from the breathiness into the falsetto, but also something that's very interesting here is like usually, at least in the past, um, Sleep Token has been very keen into like, you know, mel doing melodies with himself in different tracks. And this one's no exception. However, here it only comes in after you go into the falsetto, which gives it a, a, an, an, a weird echo of a duet. And then it's low. And then the elongation again. Oh, shit! Take a fucking bite. Okay, before we begin with the with the next verse, like something that I really like, and I was never able, I, I think I'm putting in the words in the past, right? But I've never like pointed it out in this way, is how Sleep Token can come up with like a melody, in this case, a very synth sounding melody, almost techno at the beginning of the song, like I said, uh, give me that impression at first, but then like as as the song went on, it felt more like lo-fi-ish kind of synth. Um, but he built a heavy song around it, right? Like a heavy instrumentalization about it uh, around the whole thing. And yet he's using it to enhance and give, give better intonation in a way to the emotional through line of the song. Because if you hear, the track keeps going. Like, that bass keeps going through the whole song. It changes at times, sure. But it's mostly maintained. This is again, an offering Fuck. in your favor. A sacrifice. In I know that a lot of people hate on artists that do that, you know, vocal play when delivering certain uh, lines, for example, here, and I'm sorry for pausing in, in the middle of this. I wanted to hear the whole thing, but I wanted to get this thought out. Offering. Uh, offering. Kind of like doing that, that break of the voice. In your favor. Again, favor, you know, like, and, and doing all of those things, um, I personally love it, but I know how a lot of people hate on artists who do that. Um, even though it's just like, just feeling your song as an artist, you know what I mean? Like, and I, I get that, I get this impression of like authenticity with a sleep token that I haven't ever gotten from anyone who uses, um, a track, 
in a way. You us I usually get this feeling with uh, singers who do like either acoustic versions, you know, or unplugged, or like straight up playing, but without without that that electric component in the back. Sleep Token is the first band that uses technology in that way. It, as as weird as it sounds, but that has hit me in 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 that aspect like making me resonate in that aspect in your favor a sacrifice in your name but I get back. I know you've got a say so just take Another thing that happens to me a lot with uh, Sleep Token, and I'm pausing here because I, I have this feeling that something else big is coming or something very deep and emotional is coming, right? Um, by, for the, because of the way that this man has, you know, um, uh, how, how to say it, conditioned me to listen to his music. And I've realized that this song, and a few more actually, a, a few of the other ones that we've listened to, and I think I've pointed it out in the past, it's almost trance-like. It gets you in almost a trance-like state of listening to music. It's almost hypnotizing. And you, you pay a very special kind of attention to his songs and his music in general. The track, the vocal tracks in the background. we go oh, chills that feeling of being overwhelmed by sound oh That those guitar settings sound almost doom like. It it sounds like the the settings of the guitar that uh the the doom eternal has during the music. But I want to pay close attention to this like guttural maybe was that a guttural? I think it was. No, it wasn't. But it's a good one. Love that. Dude, the drums are going insane. Listen to this part. Just pay so close attention to the drum. Here. I wonder if he's using double pedal there. And the echo in the background of the voice.
and it fades away. Of course it fades away. Oh god. I cannot wait to hear the live version for this song. I cannot fucking wait to listen to it. Uh, we'll, we'll make it happen. I can't wait, uh, to, to do that. Cause it, I think this one, I want it to be my first live version, uh, reaction from sleep token. Cause I have no idea how it works live with them. I've only heard you guys comment, uh, about it. Um, but yeah, God damn it. This song is amazing. Um, directly going into my playlist, of course. And particularly this one. Um, and I, and I think it happens with this one more than with any other Sleep Token song so far, with me, at least for me. Uh, maybe it was the effect of the visualizer, maybe it was, you know, just the music itself. But it did get me into that trance-like uh, state, in a way. Like, in a trance, listening to it, like, hypnotizing, looking at the fire. I can definitely, you know, imagine myself or seeing myself in front of a bonfire, just listening to this, just staring into the fire kind of thing, which is a little bit fucked up when you think about it, but it is kind of the effect that this has. It's almost like, it's, it's almost like, um, how to say it? It's almost like ritual, like music. I don't know. Uh, maybe that was the point because it's called the offering. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't, maybe I missed the complete point. I don't know. Uh, but do let me know uh, down in the comments what you thought about the song. Um, this song is definitely top three. Uh, eh, top five Sleep Token songs for me uh, so far. I really like it. Really fuck with it. Heavily fuck with it. Um, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave me a comment. Remember to leave a like. Remember to join the Discord for any music recommendations. Uh, it's way easier for me to search through them over there we're going through a list and yeah check out the patreon watch the update video um anything else oh yeah tomorrow we have the 1k special upload so that is gonna be my top 10 songs of all time my top 10 favorite songs of all time so you definitely don't want to not gonna want to miss that so that you can you know take a take a take a look into my musical taste and, you know, and the things that are appreciated music um, and, you know, personal experiences with music, all that stuff. Um, that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Click one of those videos right there. Uh, there's somewhere here. Hit that subscribe button. I would very much appreciate it. We made it to 1K. Now let's make it to 2K or 10K or some other shit. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow.